and that section is uh, to create a trial balance. And actually they're gonna show us not only how to create a trial balance, which we've already done, but also how to uh, click on portions of the trial balance uh, that um, to create uh, additional reports. So um, step one in this section is to click reports. And then go to trial balance, which is way down here um, under for my accountant. And it's going to bring up a trial balance. Um, we can create a transaction report by clicking on the dollar amount of any account. So step two, it says go to the checking account and click on the 876 to produce a transaction report. So this shows all the transactions that occurred during the month of August uh, in this checking account. Okay, it's actually really useful because it like summarizes uh, everything that, that could have happened. Uh, it tells us to print this report, but we're not going to print it. We're actually going to export it. Or PDF, whichever you want, and you're going to upload this uh, report as one of the things to show that you uh, went through uh, this uh, walkthrough. Okay. And then we can click back to report summary right here to get us back to the trial balance. And then we're going to click on our inventory assets amount right there. And it'll do the same thing. It will pull up a transaction report. And instead of printing, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to export it, sell it, again, and upload that document uh, in Canvas the way you have already with other assignments. And we'll go back to our report summary. And we're going to click on accounts payable, which is down here on the amount. Transaction report. And we'll do the same thing, export and upload it. And that does it for chapter five. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Um, and again, as always, if, if you have questions uh, or if you stick something, uh, you call or an email uh, or a text, and we, we'll find a way to get together and work through those problems. Um, I hope you have a great week.